So let's talk about the $2,000 stimulus check, which is seeming more and more likely as each day passes by and all the data and information is coming in. I'm going to give you the latest election results. I'm going to tell you exactly what it means for the future of more stimulus, exactly how it's going to go down. I'm also going to take you through irs.gov. If you're still struggling getting your payment, I can take you through some information that might be helpful for you and then update you on whether or not I've seen my payment yet. That may or may not make you feel better, but wait till the end of the video or later in the video in order to see that. But right now, let's go ahead and look at the the most updated results from the Georgia Senate runoff. As you can see here, there were two runoffs, Senate seat one and Senate seat two. Senate seat one, John Ossoff and David Perdue. That one right now is still being counted. John Ossoff looks like he has a pretty clear lead. However, it is still too close to be called at this point, although most people would say that, that John Ossoff is going to win this. However, it does look like it's in the threshold that David Perdue could ask for a recount. The recount shouldn't take too long, but it might take a day or two or maybe even three, depending on how long it takes to get everyone in there and recount the ballots. But it's almost very unlikely that the the difference in votes is actually going to produce uh, David Perdue winning it if everything stays the same. So it looks like Democrat one is going to win there. And Raphael Warnock has already been uh, determined to be the winner of the Senate race, too. So it does, in fact, look like that the polls held public opinion, political moves as of late. I believe that Mitch McConnell not putting the $2,000 check to the Senate floor was the last nail in the coffin. I think it was a big mistake. Mitch McConnell can have whatever opinions he wants, but as the majority leader, when public opinion is 80% in favor of this, the House of Representatives voted in a bipartisan way for this. President Donald Trump wants this, and even Joe Biden saying that he would want this. You have to put it to the Senate floor, and he decided not to. I think this was a big mistake. And I think it shifted the opinion and the votes towards the direction of the Democrats. And it does, in fact, look like both Democrats are now going to win. So what does this mean? It now means that the House of Representatives is going to be majority Democrat. The Senate is going to be 50-50 Democrat-Republican. But that is broken by whoever is in charge of the executive branch, the presidency, by the vice president. The vice president is, in fact, called the president of the Senate. And that individual, which is going to be Kamala Harris, has the deciding vote. So if it's a 50-50 tie, Kamala Harris will break that tie with a 51 vote. Well, what does all of this mean? Well, number one, it means that Mitch McConnell is going to lose his seat as the majority leader in the Senate. That is going to go to Chuck Schumer. Now, Nancy Pelosi and the House are going to construct a new bill, hopefully very similar to what they did before with the Cash Act, on just giving out more stimulus payments to the American people. It's going to probably be a standalone bill, or at least it should be a standalone bill. They shouldn't add a bunch of more junk into it. Keep Keep it very simple and the same. Get more money to the American people. After the House approves that, and they should do so in a bipartisan way again, like they did last time, although there will now be actually be more Republicans in the House than there were in the last previous vote, but they should still pass in a bipartisan way. It will be sent over to the Senate, and now because Mitch McConnell is no longer the majority leader there, he cannot stop it from hitting the Senate floor, meaning Chuck Schumer is going to put it on the Senate floor, so it's at least going to get a vote. Now you you have two more Democrats as well. So you know you're going to be getting 50 votes right across the board. The only reason that you getting more stimulus is not a 100% chance right now, number one, is both of the Senate seats weren't called yet. So it's not technically official, but it will be official. Number two, they still need to get 60 votes. Right now, we know that there's 50. And we've had a number of Republicans, at least five or six, that have said that they will vote for it too. The question is, is can you get 10 Republicans to vote for it in the Senate. It's a possibility that you won't get those 10, but it's a possibility that you will get those 10. I think it's going to be razor, razor close, which is why I put it at 90% possibility because the only failure in all of these calculations of what's needed to get more stimulus to you is the fact that there might not be 10 Republicans. There might only be eight or nine. It might just barely fail in the Senate. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully there's enough that realize that this is a thing that needs to be done. And hopefully, as I've said before in the past, they calculate this out as simply giving the American people their tax money back. 
during a time of pandemic, which is what should be done. So we're going to keep our eyes on this. If you want to be up to date on whether or not another stimulus is coming and it looks more and more likely that it is, subscribe to the channel. But now let's move on to the economic stimulus payment that you've all been expecting. And I think most of you have been getting it, at least from the comments. It seems most people have seen their economic stimulus payment. However, I know that there's a bunch of you that still have not seen it. So let me first update you on my status to make you feel better or not better, depending on where you stand. And then I'm gonna take you through irs.gov and show you something that you can do a little proactively right now if you want to, but the best thing you can do is just wait. I still have not received my stimulus payment. There is no update in my bank. I haven't received any information from it. I'm seeing nothing. So if you're not seeing it, I'm not either. I'm eligible for it. I did my taxes. I'm sure many of you are eligible and did your taxes too, or maybe you don't have to file taxes and you haven't seen it. We're in the same place. So don't worry about it. Many people are in that place. Let me bring you to irs.gov. So here we are at irs.gov. I'll leave the link below, but it's really easy. It's just irs.gov. And what you're going to see here is you're going to see get my economic impact payment. You're going to go ahead and click on that and you're going to scroll down and it's going to say, check the status of your economic impact payments because it's going to give you the status of the one that you received a long time ago and then it's going to give you the status of the one that you were supposed to have received very recently and so you're going to click on get my payment and then you're going to put your information and in, social security number your your address i would suggest to you that you do this on your home computer don't do this on a public computer or a public network or anything like that but if you're at home you'll be absolutely fine i will show you my results oh my session is going to expire in five minutes okay so here are my results. See, payment status one. My payment status one was fine. I got it in my bank account there. I'm going to blur out the whole bank account so you can't see it, but I did get it in my bank account payment status one. Payment status two, though, says not available. You can see right there, it says we are unable to provide the status of your payment right now because we don't have enough information yet. We're working on this, okay? Or you're not eligible for a payment. Well, I definitely know I'm eligible for a payment, um, but they don't have enough information yet. You may be seeing that as well if you go to irs.gov. If you do, don't get frustrated by it. I'm not getting frustrated by it. I know I'm eligible. You know you're eligible. If you got the one the last time, you're most likely going to get the one this time. The only way that you would fall out of eligibility is if you ended up making so much money in for your 2019 returns that it pushed you out of the eligibility, meaning if you're filing single that you made more than $75,000, actually more than $100,000 because it'll slowly um, end off, or as a joint filer, if you made more than $150,000. Basically, this is my advice to you wait. The computer systems are backed up. They're dealing with the banks. They're dealing with tax returns. They're dealing with the IRS, the treasury. There's so much information that's going from computer system to computer system. They need to work it out. Give them a couple of weeks to be able to do so. At least a few Tuesdays. I'd give them next Tuesday and the Tuesday after that. Now, in two weeks, if you don't have it, there might be some information that you might be able to go through. Maybe the treasury is going to issue something on irs.gov to put information in and try to get stuff figured out. Of course, if that and when that happens, we will let you know about that. But right now, unfortunately, going to have to wait. I know a lot of people are trying to figure it out. I see comments down there. Maybe it's going to the people who uh, don't have to file taxes, but I've seen it been going to people who haven't filed taxes, who have filed taxes. Maybe it's going in alphabetical order. That's not the case. My last name is very low on the alphabet list, and I haven't seen it yet, so it's definitely not alphabetical order. It's not state order. It's not based off of banks because I have people in my family who go to the same bank that I do, and they got it, and I didn't. So I think this is just haphazard. They don't really know. They're probably processing information in all different kinds of ways. And unfortunately, many people are seeing it and many people aren't, but that is the way our government works. However, that does look very likely more and more each day that another stimulus check is going to be coming your way. We're going to keep you up to date on it and tell you how it's looking in the House of Representatives as they're creating the new bill because they will be creating the new bill when the Senate runoffs are completely figured out and probably a recount is done because Purdue is probably going to ask for a recount. Then once that's figured out, we have both Democrats in that new bill is going to hit the House floor. They might do it during Trump's presidency. They might do it during Joe Biden. We're going to have to see how that all plays out, but we will keep you up to date on it. We will let you know all the information you need to know. And as always, we will catch you next time.